Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mo TV, Independent Thinking for the Free Mind. I'm actually in New York this time, Staten Island. What's good? But um, kicking it to you guys about the video I made last time about men respecting women and how they should and how the majority is they don't because they're misogynistic and actually think they're better than us. Well, this is more of a part two just to reiterate some things, but also to refresh some memories on the basics of our society and human anatomy. <laughs> but, um, how are you guys doing today? Hello to my ladies, hello to the guys. Um, so yeah, rehearsing about what I was saying about last time, I really don't know how any guy actually thinks he's better than a woman, because like I'm saying, you shouldn't be competing with anybody but yourself, but if you are competing, men should compete with men, and women should compete with women. I mean, to do it oppositely, it'd kind of be like saying you're a man who really feels like a woman on the inside, you know? So, if that's you, I mean, just have a sex change already, or cross-dress, but you can't be a man and act like a woman. You know what I'm saying? You have to be who you are and act the part. So just like if I were to say, just for an example, I'm a fun-loving, decent person, but if I see somebody I don't know, just for the fact that I don't know them, I would be rude or cussing them out or being outlandish. The way you say you are is the way you're supposed to be with everyone, not specified people or favorite people or certain genders. So if you're a fun-loving, decent person, you're a fun-loving, decent person to everyone, whether you know them or not. If you're a real man, you only fight and argue with guys, you reason and respect women. I mean, life or death, yes, protect yourself, but majority basis of the time, if you're a man who gets your kicks off beating on women or disrespecting women or talking badly about women, you really are a bitch-ass punk that really just hates your mother and you can't even admit the truth that my mom didn't love me enough she didn't show me enough attention so fuck all women Ooh. can't live your life like that that's how you go years without sex that's how you go years without a relationship that's how you go years with no marriage no kids loser and then your only friends are punk ass bitch dudes who live the same life no pussy, no sex, no love, no kids, no family just we hate women cause our mothers hated us yeah all the while we don't admit it, yeah! But listen, I was thinking a little bit more in depth on maybe why you guys try to rationalize to yourself that you deserve the right to disrespect women. And I think it goes along the border of if you're not sexually attracted to a woman, then you don't see her as a woman. Well, let me tell you something. Regardless of how people change themselves in this life, you know, your hair, your weight, you get older, whatever, tattoos, you are still the same gender. And no disrespect to anyone transgender, but it's only logical. If you're born a man, you're always going to be a man. If you're born a woman, you're always going to be a woman. I don't care what you change. You still are biologically who you always were. You just want to be known to the public as something different. But anyways, with that being said, how do guys get it in their heads that, oh, if a woman isn't nice all the time, or she doesn't look good all the time, or if I don't want to sleep with her, then she's not a real woman? Well, we could most definitely say that about you guys. I mean, like, who gave birth to this fucker? I mean, he's ugly, he's bald. Did you hear he doesn't even have a four inch, you know? <laughs> I mean, we could go off the walls about shit and say why you guys aren't men. But you can't go around hating on women simply because you don't find them sexually attractive. Everybody who is alive today had a mother, had a father who wanted them to exist. That's how we all came here. We were born from love and we survived through love. So it isn't a matter of they have a right to, they had a popularity poll, they're gifted extraterrestrial, no. Their parents wanted them to be alive, they're alive. So nobody has the right to question someone else's life or existence. However, yes, your actions and your words sum you up. Actions speak louder than words, of course. So that's just 
what I'm thinking about today is, is that the reason why you guys are so disrespectful to women? Maybe yes, mostly importantly, you hated your mother and she wasn't the sweetest, the nicest, but to all other women in society who are not your mother, is your main reason I'm not sexually attracted to her. Because not only is that superficial and fucked up, but what if she's not even sexually attracted to you? I mean, she's not going to treat you any less because she doesn't find you sexually attractive. It's just you guys won't fuck. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't turn you on. You don't turn her on. No fucking. You can still be friends. You can still have respect for each other, one human being to another human being. You know? It's really simple. Guys, it's just like this. You treat people how you want to be treated by them and by everyone else. It isn't, oh, if I'm nice to you, if I smile at you, you'll think I'm in love with you and we'll be together forever. No. How many times have you been with somebody that you wanted to be with and it didn't work out for shit? Probably a lot. So, quid pro quo, same thing. Just because you're nice to somebody doesn't mean you love them, doesn't mean they love you, doesn't mean you're going to end up together forever. It just means you increased your likelihood of having more friends than you would have than by being superficial and saying, oh, I don't want to fuck you, so fuck you, you're not a person, you're not a woman. But another thing I realize is you guys judge us on how we dress, how we wear our hair, and how we talk. Listen, I already told you, you would not even exist if it wouldn't be for women. So if you feel you have the right to do anything, God only knows we've got ten times that right. Because for you to not even exist without us, how are you going to tell us how to be, who to li how to live, you know what I'm saying, and what makes us a woman? First of all, you guys don't even really know what it is to be, you don't know what it is to be a woman. You don't know everything it takes for the wonders of a woman to grace your life. Let me tell you, it's hard work. It doesn't matter if you're a lesbian stud like me, or if you're a straight woman like Cardi B, it doesn't matter. Being a woman is tough, hard work, and it has nothing to do with how nice or how sweet you are. It has everything to do with who you are as a person and how you take care of yourself. So I would never find it logical or even rational to think you could disrespect a woman just because you don't find her sexually attractive or if in your mind the definition of a woman she doesn't add up. Because you're not a woman, you've never been a woman, and if you don't respect women, you will never have a woman unless you pay for sex from hood rat crack whores. So, I mean, I'm just telling you how it is. A guy that doesn't respect or love women is a guy that doesn't have women or love or respect from women. You might have money, but let's face facts. They're going to spend your money and they're going to leave. And then you're going to cry because it's like, they didn't really love me. They wanted my money. Like, what do you expect? If you're going to cuss someone out, yell at someone, disrespect them, treat them like less than a human being, slap them around, ignore them, put other people before them, deprive them of things they need like food, a place to live, clothes, transportation, love, whatever. Who is going to stick around for that? Let's be logical. And that's the sad thing, is you guys have it in your head that a woman's place is to be a man's personal punching bag. That is so not fucking true. More like, the worse you treat a woman, the more ideas you give her to want to kill you. Poison your food, stab you in your sleep, chop off your dick, and then put it in a grinder. It's so easy. If you just talk to women with respect, hi, how are you, ma'am, miss, or their name, if you don't talk about them, unless if you're giving them props to someone who doesn't know them, if you are considerate and generous, if you have good hygiene, you know, who wants to be around a nasty, funky motherfucker? I don't, do you? <laughs> to smell someone's ass? No thanks. <laughs> Doesn't matter whose it is, ass is ass, shit and farts is shit and farts. <laughs> But I mean, yeah, if you just take the proper precautions to be a clean, decent human being, and then on top of that, be a real man by respecting women and only fighting and arguing with other men, then you will have all the women in the world. I'm not saying they're going to love you, but at least they'll take interest, they'll respect you, they could be your friends, right? 
I mean, you could like someone at some point and they don't like you then, or they could not like you at some point and like you later. This is life. It's a gamble. You never know. All I'm trying to give you is the solid advice to increase your odds of having a better existence with women and having women in your life willingly instead of you feeling like you're forcing them or them feeling like they're obligated. You could both actually be happy together. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> so have good communication. Have good hygiene. Respect them. Talk to them right. Talk about them properly. Be generous. Be giving. Don't be barbaric. Don't be abusive. Don't be violent. And don't be spiteful. You know, if somebody counted on you for something and you promised something, keep your word. Actions speak louder than words, but literally every time you lie, every time you break a promise, every time you get in your feelings and you're like, oh, well, you hurt my punk bitch feelings, so now I'm a punk bitch and I'm bitching out of what I promised you. That's you just saying your word means nothing. Less and less and less till it's nothing. Negative value. And no one's going to believe a word you say. It's okay to feel. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be upset, confused tired, aggravated, but it's not okay to let your emotions take over your logical sense. You can never let, because my feelings got hurt, I'm ready to kill somebody. That, how is that rational? That doesn't make any sense. So guys, we're very different from you, obviously. But what I'm saying is listen, watch, learn. Take note of the differences you see, ask questions when you're confused, remember the answers, and let's just be respectful to each other and live in peace. There shouldn't be any competition who's better than who, who does what, because we already win. I told you, you would not exist without us. You can look up, you can look through the Bible, you can look through Google. There's no other way a human being is born than between the legs of a woman. No other way. And even for cloning, you still have to have the original person to make a clone. Because that's what a clone is, is double the original. So, that's the second part of what I got for you guys with this subject, okay? We don't think we're better than you. Don't think you're better than us. We all just want to live in peace. Love respect, understanding, and compromise. Nobody has to break shit. Nobody has to kill anybody. Nobody has to put anyone in the hospital. Nobody has to ruin someone's life. Nobody has to let their feelings control their mind. You guys always said you were the most logical ones. Well, if you act on your feelings, that's the complete opposite. It makes no sense to say, I promised you this in advance, I gave you my word, and I think I'm a reliable person, but because you said something or did something I didn't quite like or understand, fuck you, fuck the plans, fuck this, my feelings are hurt, okay? Just fuck the world, my feelings are hurt! That is such a bitch move. Don't do that. Don't be a punk bitch. Because no matter what your genitalia is, if people don't respect you and see you for who you are, it only matters to you. I'm not saying you're not biologically a man, but if no one else sees you that way, what good's it gonna do you? So, let's be good to each other, guys. Love, peace, happiness through understanding, respect, and compromise. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time on Mo TV. Independent thinking for the free mind. I own my own mind. I speak my own mind. And I swear I got no filter. Deuces, y'all.